What on earth are we looking at here? This is the best tech QQ, and QQ in Chinese means cricket. And that is precisely what this knife is designed after. And if you pay attention and you look at it, you will see the shape of the body of a cricket. And then this mill design looks like the wings folded across the back of the body of the cricket. It's simple to operate. It's a button lock design. And while a button lock would typically only come into play when you're unlocking the blade and wanting to close it, a lot of us have gotten into the habit of using button locks, whether they be flippers, top flippers, or reverse flickers. A lot of times we would just go ahead and depress the button and flick a blade out with a little bit of wrist action. And that is the only way of opening this knife, is depressing this button and giving it a little flick and releasing it just before it locks up. And then you have a fast, fast little knife. It is not an automatic. There are no springs in there at all. All the button does is relieve tension on the blade for opening. And it obviously locks with a cross member here. And when you push it, it allows the blade to close. Now, what you're looking at here is the idea that has sprung from an eight-year-old girl's brain. Her name is Gogo, -Go, and her name is actually engraved right here on the back side of the blade. And Gogo -Go is the daughter of one of the owners of Best Tech Knives. And she wanted to create something based, you know, something artful based on her, one of her favorite little creatures, which is a cricket. She loves crickets. She loves to play with them and talk to them and be outside and around these little guys. That would drive me nuts because if, if you've ever had the joy of a cricket slipping into your house and then spending weeks and weeks and weeks trying to locate it as it's chirping, you know how impossible that is and how quickly it can test your sanity. Uh, luckily, this is not going to test your sanity. It's only 60 bucks. It's easy to get your hands on. They are currently available. You can go out to Best Tech's retail website or to any of their many dealers online and pick one of these up. Quick specs on this, you're looking at an overall length of only 5.47 inches, just a hair under 5.5 inches in overall length. How big is that blade, you asked? 2.2 inches, yes, a little 2-inch tiny little blade. And the uh, material is 14C28N, which is pretty good at corrosion resistance and pretty good at holding a long-term edge. The handle is aluminum alloy. Your pocket clip on the back, by the way, is stainless steel. And you've got a button lock design for the locking and blade thickness of only 118 thousandths of an inch thick. And for those wondering, that is not an edge on the back side. You are able to close the knife by pushing on the spine if you prefer closing in a more traditional manner. There is no risk whatsoever of cutting yourself because that is very, very thick on the spine there. It's just a decorative swedge that makes it look like a double-edged dagger. As we see here, there is your primary edge, and it is actually pretty sharp. Good to be a little letter opener or perhaps a package opener. You get a lot of Amazon packages? Well, here you go. Here's a tiny little knife that you can stow away in the fifth pocket of your jeans or just deep carry in your pocket or leave laying around on your desk and quickly zip open those packages with a neat little folding knife. This is one of the tiniest knives that I think has any practical utility to it. And I think a lot of people are that are into smaller knives are really going to enjoy it, especially with that insect kind of design that it's got going on. It's intricate, it's cool, it's fancy, and will soon be available in a variety of different materials and colors as well. Best Tech is one of the higher quality knives coming out of China. And no matter what they make it, whatever price range, this low price range of 60 or all the way up into three, $400, they have proven themselves over time with their own knives, as well as doing OEM work for other brands to create incredible quality work. Smooth actions, reliable, safe lockups, good detents, overall high quality products in every price level that they produce in. So 
you're assured to get a good quality knife no matter what the price is that you're spending, as long as it has that logo on it right there from Best Tech Knives. That's it for me. I'm out of here. This was just a quick overview of the QQ. If you would like to see something a little bit more in depth and hear more about it, go to my main channel, which does all of the full in-depth reviews, and you can watch it there. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you on the next video.